Hey guys, what's up? It's me, D Dominus Ignis, and today we're back with more Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Let's go and do this. Hooray! Birdy uh, Minius! So, we gotta climb up here. Hold on, we can do this. And jump! Oh, that was close. Alright. So it looks like we got more than enough beans already. I, I think. I think you only need 50 beans, right? Hold on, let me check. It's either 50 or 80. It's 80, okay, never mind. Anyway, here we can get a bunch of... Uh, which is a wizard's cards. Hello, Harry. One thing I want to try is if you get them running a PlayStation 2 emulator in HD. I don't think I'll be able to do it in 1080p HD just because I don't want to muck that up as well. You know the. Sorry, I'm my my brain just died right then. Um, I don't want to muck it up in case the, it has bad cam has the same problem loading times on the PS2 emulator. It doesn't seem to have in the past, and I run SmackDown just bring it in in full screen. So I'll give it a shot with a PlayStation 2 game, but I'm a little bit uncertain, admittedly. Anyway. I know what I'm doing, I've done this before. What the fuck? How? I was here! You all saw that, I was here! And it went that way. Like, oh for fuck's sake. This is the problem with this mini game, is that the game runs in a grid pattern, but Harry's not in a grid, which means that it's just imprecise. If Harry was also running in a grid style, then it would work. Oh dear, shall I reset the cauldrons for you, Harry? So... Hello, Harry. Uh, I've got a bit of yes, fun yes, I know, I know, I know. Come on, let's go and move on. Go, come on. There we go. Keep going, come on. There, come on. We're running out of time. Ah! Uh, I nearly fucked that up. No, are you serious? Are you actually serious? What prompted the pot to go that way? What actually prompted it to go that way? This game is so... I didn't... <clears throat> oh, I hate this... Mini game so fucking much. Oh my god, this mini game is absolutely out atrocious. Who Hello, decided Harry. on Quite it? Who at uh, EA thought that it was a good idea? <gasps> because let me tell you something, it isn't. It really isn't. Wasn't. It was never a good idea. It's slow, boring, and so easy to fuck up without it even ever feeling fair. Oh my god. Alright, let's go to the corner. I 
actually took us nearly half the time to get that over there. Alright, there we go. Alright. Come on, we're gonna run out of time. So little time left. <laughs> well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Thank you. Cassandra the Black. No, I don't wish to view the folio major. Let's keep moving. Oh. Well, just two more of those to go here, and then we can get out of here. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun within the time if you get them. All right. So this one's an easy one, and it's also fast too, so you can just get this one over with. So I think you're actually meant to play this one first. Hooray! Well done, Harry. Yep, thank you, I'll take that card. So now, genuinely not sure which, I'm, which way I'm supposed to go, but I think it's this way. Because there's one more challenge and it's the more difficult one. Yep, it's this way. Brilliant. Let's go up. And there we go. And again, let's go up. Because spiderwebs have that power now. And go over here. I've got a bit of fun. I'm sure you the do. Time, if Let's you get, get this over with. Nick, I've got I've got places to be. And Voldemort's to kill. Alright, so we gotta go. Gotta think about this one again. Ugh, the thing is I did this all before and now it's annoying because I gotta do it all again and I can't remember which way I'm supposed to do this. Alright, I think this one's the easy No! No, you fucking twat pot. Jesus Christ. Ugh. I'm not trying to defuse a bomb, I'm trying to play a video game. Bloody hell. Alright. Harry. He's so finicky. Ah, there we go. Alright. You. Okay, wait a minute, let me just. Alright, that looks fine. Alright, let's just keep going. Okay, um, perfect. Alright. And perfect. Just gotta do that last one now. Can I squeeze through? Nope, I can't. Okay. Come on, Harry. And one more. Perfect. Well done. Yep. No, thank you. So let's go and do this. Yeah, let's move on now. 
We perfect. All right, so now, hold up, go here. Perfect. Let's go quickly, quick, quick. No. Oh, did you see that? That was incredible. All right, so those are curses, those eyes up there. So now we just gotta destroy those. So this is the cauldron, by the way. I'll just explain why I feel that it shouldn't be. Yo, you'll see why I don't. I don't think there was much point to this. Oh my god, why am I messing this up so badly? There we go. Now we collect the potion. We can't use the cauldron again. So they could have just given us the potion. Moving on. Why, it's Potty Wee Potter! I'm Peeves Potter, and you better watch out for me! Young Potter, you're, so you're ugly, but. If you look at him, yep, the best thing yep, to do. Yep, yep. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the first thing is at. You have to take it out with a knockback, with a full recharge knockback jinx. There we go. Don't ask me why then, why there are like severed eyes. They should be in a Neversoft logo. Anyway, let's just get up here. So we're going to go through over here first because I think another eye is this way ah, slippery floors and there are flamethrower tortoises everywhere okay that was too high for them to hit me so that's good here we are this way to kill the yellow eye Alright. Ow! Oh no, I somehow didn't get burned. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, let's just... I'm pretty sure if I got burned, I'd be more than just... Ah! I didn't even touch anything that time, so... Let's go take on the fire, the other two curses. Then we can continue. We're nearly at the point where I fin finally finished the recording. Which was more than I think like it was like two or three episodes. Can't remember how many. Anyway. So, let's just go. Right. So 
there's a knight. We gotta hit him with fully charged knockback jinxes. There we go. Not a problem. Ten more beans to go. Then we can claim the dungeon prize. One more to go. Yay! <laughs> There's and bam. Got all the green beans and and just one more curse to go now. So yeah, it'll say complete once I've gotten the prize. So there you go. say I'm getting through this a lot faster than I did when I last recorded it so yeah that's good so let's go get that final curse give me a second oh, I needed that perfect there we go That's so weird. <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> Perfect. That's a great way to ha sort out your broken legs. Just eat some chocolate. I tried telling doctors this, but they think that I'm, they think I'm crazy. You know? There, look. Are you fucking serious? Oh, this is one of the problems with Harry's auto jump. He doesn't grab sometimes. Ah. Uh. But you'll see the real problem. You should hope. Hopefully, I won't have the problem when I race Peeves later. Spoiler: I'm racing Peeves later. But that proved to be very frustrating when he doesn't jump or do the grab, even though he's a po. Even though he's supposed to do the jump and grab, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm not pressing a button, because there's no button to press. It's supposed to happen automatically. So literally, all I can do is, you know, hope Harry actually does it. Uh, I thought that was a solid path. I didn't realize that we were still having to do parkour. There you go. This is where I thought we were. We. Let's get a move on. Hold on. Let's actually just drink the potion really quick. Hooray. So now we're gonna go claim our prize. Well done. Don't mind. Look at the. Uh, don't be late. Be transfigured. I won't be late. Don't worry. But I wanna. But the thing is, it's gonna put me in the entrance hall, and I'd have to go back to the dungeons. I think. This way to the dungeons. Hooray, let's go get our prize. Hey Harry, have the password for Wangle what? Who thinks of these passwords? They're just so random. 
Wanglewort. Well done, young man. At least in here you'll be safe. Oh yeah, this guy is kind of terrified of the dungeons, which is why he's like, at least in here you'll be safe. So now we get Quidditch armor and a lowered frame rate. Perfect. Extra protection against bludgers, which we can use in the Quidditch games. You know, after I've done beating the story mode, I might just go through the Quidditch matches for a Let's Play. Because I don't think that would take too long, That you know, just play some Quidditch matches. I feel like that would probably just be a few, like, two or three episodes. I can't remember how long they are. I think that's how long it'd be, because the Quidditch matches aren't themselves, in a, you know, singularly, aren't very long. But anyway... Let's run off to the transfiguration level lessons. Here we go. So before we go to Hermione, sorry, I completely blanked out then. Um, before we go to Hermione, we're going to, and sorry for knocking the mic then, I'm going to collect some yellow beans here. And then I'll collect the yellow prize. Which I genuinely can't Watch remember. I did collect it in the last recording, but I honestly cannot remember what it was. So we gotta go this way. This is part annoying as hell. Wait. Okay, go, 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 Harry, go. Alright, wait. Perfect. Grab the beans. Grab the beans. Go. Go. Alright, we did it. And made it look easy. So, just four more to go. I know exactly where to get them. So we grab these three. And then let's just grab one from here and we're good. Now, I could go up and then and it will get me to friend George faster, but I just want to show you something that makes no sense. Now we're here. Keep in mind, we went through that door, then we went further that way, then suddenly we end up out that door. You try and make sense of it. The only thing I can think of is maybe when you go through the door, maybe it curves slightly, maybe? Yeah, when you go up there. But really, it doesn't make any sense. Like, at all. Hmm. Anyway, let's go talk to Fred and George and get... Password? And get a prize. Draconis. Then we just gotta worry about the red beans. Thanks for the earwax. Hope you find Fizzy the pop. That actually makes sense. Okay, two things, by the way, I just want to talk about with two of the future games we're going to play. In Chamber of Secrets, they basically reuse this room. That's the Fobia Major, by the way. Um, but over here, there's a statue that they put where you can go in and you can fight for the Founders cards, which are Witches and Wizards cards, but with the Hogwarts Founders. And also this notice board. Well, it's not actually used in Prisoner of Azkaban, but 
they actually do use the notice board in a way that makes it actually useful. Because if I used it, if I read it in this game, it's just giving me useless shit. Um, you know, telling me stuff that's basically to try and deepen the lore. But if I play use it in Prison of Azkaban, it gives you little quests for more house points. So, you know, that's cool. The only problem is whenever I go to do those quests, which usually means having to go out and when I'm done with everything else, I always have like Ron and Hermione going on at me in Prison of Azkaban. I'm really tired. And it's like, I want to play the game. Shut up already. And people say Navi is bad. Trust me. It's going to get annoying when, when, if, when they start reminding us about that. Constantly. Anyway, so we're stuck down here for now. So let's go to the Transfiguration lesson. Alright. Run, run, run. Okay, go. Go. Jesus Christ, that one's so fast. Oh man, we did it. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Alright, and... Uh. Jesus Christ, Harry! Ta stop taking your bloody time! Join us, Harry. We're about to start still the half Transfiguration time lesson. So we did that fairly quickly. Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have it's dangerous, so you're teaching it to 11-year-olds. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three Pokemon, times to learn the transfiguration spell. At least with Pokemon, it's usually the adults that are doing bad force. things. You know, the really Get bad ready. stuff. But, I mean... <laughs> seriously, look at Harry Potter world. It's probably worse than that the Pokemon good. world. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Now try and keep up. Okay, so we're still going. That was good. There we go. Excellent. Perfect. Oop, I just elbowed the keyboard. Very well, let's keep going. Okay, I think once this lesson's done... Oh, fuck you. I didn't... Act okay, that time I pressed the triangle button. Oh, dear. Now, let's do it properly without the game screwing me over. Because that first time it fucked up when I, that was I gave up. It, the first time, I actually didn't do it. And I actually Excellent. did that on the last recording. I'm not sure what's wrong there. Perfect. Well done, class. There we go. Now let's go and do this. Welcome, Harry. First use your wand to cast a... Yep, now, I'll cast the transfiguration spell if you let me do it. Oh, Abby Fours! He's so excited as he says that. Seriously. And this is just like a simplified version of that plant burning spell. Well done, Mr. Potter. Thank you. Let's go now. Ah, oh, perfect landing. And then we Meanwhile, the house point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Damn. 
That's a lot. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on House Jesus Boys. Christ. The race for the House Cup is heating up. Well, there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to like, favor, and subscribe. I do upload videos every single day. And I'll see you guys next week with more Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Bye, guys.